Handball is a really fast-paced, competitive, high-contact sport. It's the second biggest team sport in Europe behind only football and globally it is a, a huge sport and still developing so the numbers worldwide are still increasing. It's kind of like water polo on dry land or some people would say like a cross-team basketball and football but the basics are you've got a goal at either end and you've got to throw the ball and the goal to score. Back on the Wirral where I'm from there was a, a kids handball team that was run by one of my friend's parents, so I got involved that way. From joining in with that, I was really lucky that I got opportunities to play in our youth national team and eventually off the place at a academy in Denmark where the British national team was having a centralised programme. And then through that kind of centralised programme, I was lucky enough to develop and get offered professional contracts in other countries. And that's sort of what's helped me progress through the national team programmes and then ultimately that culminated in the 2012 Olympics. Playing for Great Britain, it's, it's a feeling that you, it's, it's so hard to describe. It's so unique compared to anything else I've experienced in my life, especially in that sort of arena of a home Olympics. The way it makes you feel in terms of wanting to give everything you've got, wanting to fight, wanting to leave absolutely everything you've got out there on the court. Um, I've never felt like that on a handball court before, uh, the way I felt in the, in the Olympic. For the last five or so minutes, like the, the crowd when we played Iceland were just still chanting Team GB and we knew we, we knew we were going out, we weren't going to be able to get back into that game. But at that point, you know, the, the support was absolutely incredible. I think ultimately for, for ourselves, playing a sport like handball in the UK, we have to put things into perspective for where we came from uh, and where we actually ended up getting to. To get to the Olympics was, in a sense, our gold medal achievement. So we have to be really respectful of that to ourselves. Like we, we put so much effort in to get to that point. And yes, we didn't get out of the group stages, we didn't get to a final um, and we didn't podium, but um, I'm so, so happy with the success we did get. Undoubtedly, even if we're not talking about getting to a medal position, we could definitely have done better. We could definitely have got better results at the Olympics and in the build up to it. And hindsight's amazing for that. You know, we can all look back and think, I would have done this differently. I would have, you know, gone to the gym that extra time, I would have spent that extra bit of time on court. You know, unfortunately life, life doesn't work like that and you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for all of us that are involved in that squad to learn lessons that we pass on to the next generation. I don't see um, the real benefit for us as, as individuals to beat ourselves up thinking, oh, I wish we'd done this differently. We've just got to take those lessons, learn from them and pass them on to the next generation so that they're better equipped than we were. Because we have to remember as well, we, we were the first British national team to compete at the Olympics. In terms of my family, as I said, missing missing sort of mortgage payments and the entire family making sacrifices to allow me to do it. That you know, when you have those sort of dark moments where you've had a double session and you're absolutely exhausted and it's gone terribly, maybe you've got a few injuries or something. You're like, why am I doing this? Then it's it's another thing that's kind of like, well, you know, I'm doing I'm doing it for my family because they're investing so much in me, uh, not just in sport, but you know, the way your family invests in you your whole life. There was a few great moments at the Olympics with my family, getting to celebrate, getting to uh, see them after the final game. I think there's um, a few pictures even made it into the American newspapers with my dad kind of like crying his eyes out after the last game. Um, but yeah, I think having that sort of family involvement and then really embracing what you're doing is, is so amazing. It, it does massively spur you on.